Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video we're going to be starting chapter 13 of IB Math Studies and specifically this chapter is called Coordinate Geometry. This is actually one of my favorite chapters because it's so awesome and so easy and so uh, visual and stuff. Alright, let's get in with the first two cha sub chapters which are sub chapter A and sub chapter B. This is distance between two points and also midpoints. And let's actually start with a bit of a review. So this right here is the coordinate plane, also known as Cartesian plane, named after René Descartes, the French philosopher who had nothing better to do with his time than invent various things for mathematics and philosophy. And this was actually one of them, the Cartesian plane, as, as it's known in some countries. And so basically, what is is this? Well, this is you're probably familiar with this from algebra. We have the x axis and the y axis, and uh, we also have four quadrants here. This right here is quadrant number one. This right here is quadrant number two and these are called quadrants because they're divided into two, four parts. This is number three and this right here is number four. And uh, and this example here, this is actually from the opening problem in chapter 13, gives us three points. So this point S, T and R and we're given a coordinate uh, location for each of these points. So let's take a look at the first um, topic which is the distance between two points. And specifically, let's take a look at the distance between the point S and point R for this example. So we're going to be finding the distance between these two points. And now, how do we do this? Well, this is a combination of geometry and algebra, of course. We're going to be using um, the previous topic. We're going to be using Pythagoras theorem. So here, if we were to draw the imaginary right triangle right here, and here's my imaginary right triangle, then what we're actually looking for is we're looking for hypotenuse as R. We're looking for, this is not going to be really straight, but this is what we're looking for, this line right here. Uh, and if you remember from Pythagoras theorem, what is the hypotenuse? Well, of course, it is, let's just call this side, um, I don't know, OP, this is going to be OP. So it's OP squared plus this other side, OS squared. OP squared plus OS squared. So in other words, it is basically the distance right here, and you can actually count this in squares. It's this distance squared plus this other distance squared. And this will give us the distance SP. Uh, now this will of course be squared, so this will give us SP squared. So then we just have to find the square root of that value to get the actual um, distance. So what is our distance formula? This is actually directly from your formula sheet, so you don't even have to remember it. Distance formula, we're going to be using SP here as an example. So SP equals to a very large square root here, and this is the formula. X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. Now it sounds and looks pretty complicated, but it really isn't. This is basically a rephrasal of the Pythagoras theorem. In other words, if we were to look at point S as being x1 dot or comma y1, and this point right here as x2 uh, comma y2, so this is basically a rephrasal of these two points, uh, we would then be able to find SP as literally this. So this is actually our calculation for distance of SP, it would be square root of, what is our X2? X2 is 6, what is our X1? X1 is 8, so here, it, and this is, oh sorry, minus 8, so this is actually going to be 6 plus 8, because it's a negative number here, 6 minus minus 8 will give us 6 plus 8, squared plus, what is Y2? It is minus 9, what is Y1? It is 5, minus 9 minus 5, also squared. And now let's rewrite this again. SP equals to square root of 14 squared. And this will give us minus 14 squared. So plus minus 14 squared. In other words, it is 14 squared plus 14 squared. And SP equals to square root of 196 plus 196. And finally, SP equals to square root of 392 which in turn equals to approximately 19.8. And this right here would be the distance between S and P. Now, in a nutshell, what we did is 
we basically use the Pythagoras theorem to find a distance and this is how you do it on coordinate planes as well except that this formula this formula right here is given to us on our formula sheet all you have to remember is that we're basically converting one point to x1 y1 and the other point to x2 y2 and then using their coordinates to calculate the actual distance uh, which point is one which point is two does not matter if you were to change the uh, order if this was x1 y1 this was x2 y2 you would still have the same answer just just these two values would be um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here they would be in this way they would be opposite of each other so it and since we're adding them the value would not change it would still be square root of 392 which would give us 19.8 and this is basically sub chapter 8 distance between two points now let's talk about midpoints and we're going to keep this formula here just so that you get to see it and remember it just in case and we're going to talk about midpoints now so let's find the midpoint between s and r so where is where and what is the midpoint well the midpoint is obviously the middle point midpoint is the middle of two points in other words it's the middle and this also has the formula and it's uh, this is what it is the midpoint formula for a point in the middle is really, really, really simple. It's x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And this will give you the x point, the x value. And then, and then it's y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This will give you the y value. So this right here is the x of a midpoint. And this right here will be the y of a midpoint. And so let's just find the midpoint for SR again. So it's somewhere over here in this region here, yellow region. And we're going to be looking at it just using the nothing else except for this. Of course, you can draw the line and then look for the middle of the line, which would be a little bit too complex because you can just use the formula that's available to you in the formula sheet, which is this right here. So what is our X1 here? Let's rewrite this again. This is X1. This is Y1 x2 and y2 and so x1 plus uh, uh, x2 equals to minus 8 plus 6 divided by 2 and then the second part will be 5 plus minus 2 divided by 2 i meant to say 5 plus minus 9 divided by 2 5 plus minus 9 divided by 2 this will give us our uh, midpoint and so let's just try to do this really quickly so what is minus 8 plus 6 it gives us minus 2 divided by 2 this is minus 1 this is our x value and 5 plus minus 4 uh, plus minus 9 is minus 4 minus 4 divided by 2 gives us minus 2 so the midpoint here is really this it's minus 1 minus 2 so it's right here this is the midpoint Let's call it M. So we were pretty accurate in trying to estimate this. And so midpoint is right here, minus 1, minus 2. And this is really it. This is really all you have to do for both the distance formula and the midpoint. So these two formulas um, are given to you in a formula sheet. You don't really have to remember them. But as long as you remember how to use them and can kind of memorize at least part of it, you'll actually save yourself time in the test when you're trying to do this. And this is really it for the first part for A and B coordinate geometry. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some of the other parts, uh, specifically C and D. And uh, for this video, this is it. Thank you for watching. Good luck to you and bye-bye.